Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Sports Box, where the only opinion that matters is right here. I am Mike Aletta, a.k.a. Hampton Mike, bringing you another opinionated Sports Box because it's my show. Today we're going to talk about the venom that spewed all over the place for Tom Brady. Now, I understand Philadelphia fans where I am from right now. That you're very upset about Tom Brady because of the Super Bowl, because the Eagles lost to the uh, Patriots, and there was the whole rumor that they, uh, you know, filmed and things like that, and knew what the Eagles were running, and there was the Flake Gate and things to that effect. But it's got to stop. The guy, Tom Brady, I just never understand why there's so much venom for him out there. I mean, the guy is the number one quarterback in the NFL, hands down. He does it with players that shouldn't even be sometimes NFL players, but he gets it done. You see what kind of player he is when he gets his true staff back with Edelman, Gronkowski, things to that effect. The guy is a beast. He is the best quarterback in the league. Why wouldn't you want him to move on to the playoffs and see a great quarterback? Now, you're going to see, when we're filming this today, the in about two weeks you're going to see Peyton Manning versus Cam Newton. I would have loved to see Tom Brady against Cam Newton just for the sake of argument that that defense is nasty for Carolina. And I think in wholeheartingness, not because I think Tom Brady's a great quarterback, but I just think that a quarterback like that that's been getting it done year after year after year with different people, I definitely think that would be an unbelievable game to watch. Now, Denver's defense is nasty as well, and I think Denver and, and Carolina would be a good game. But I just, in my heart of hearts, think Tom Brady would be a better fit in that game. But like I said, folks, Tom Brady, he's the number one quarterback in the league. Hands down. He, he You know, he, he's a... Top three quarterback of all time. He he does it with different people. He yeah he he gives you attitude. He runs the sidelines. He's screaming at people. You know what? I want my quarterback screaming at people because he wants to win. And the whole Deflate Gate thing. If you're naive enough to think out there that people in the league aren't doing maybe not that but similar stuff to get an edge, you're kidding yourself. Just like my rule in college football, every college cheats. And so they get caught. And it's exactly what happened in the NFL. Tom Brady did something. Yeah, maybe he wasn't supposed to do it. But in the same sense, I'm sure a lot of the teams out there are doing it. They just haven't got caught yet. The Patriots got caught. Okay, shame on him. But you know what? The guy's the best quarterback in the league. I don't understand why there's so much venom. Maybe I'm naive, but I just don't understand why there's so much venom. Comment in. Tell me. Let me know why I'm wrong. But I just don't understand why Tom Brady is so much venom. He's so great for this league right now in the way of a football quarterback that you need like that. But in any sense, that's all the time we have for the Sports Box today. Keep an eye out. Some more specials, some more interviews coming up, some more opinionated facts that you'll love to hate me for, I'm sure. But at the Sports Box, the only opinion that matters is right here, baby. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Take care. See you.